Uh, my name is Miguel, I'm from Portugal. Uh, my application is called Park Social. Vida, thanks for the logo. I did the presentation myself this time. Um, so basically what I did was I created a, um, a sort of a social network for sharing parking spots around the city. So wouldn't, wouldn't that be great if you were driving your car and you know where to park the spot because your friends just share that there's a, spark, a spot on that street or on that place. That's, that's what I tried to achieve. Uh, I've used, of course, the JavaScript stack for backend Mongoose, Node, Express, and JWT for authentication tokens. And front-end, I use Angular 2 and Ionic 2. Thanks, Maria. She, she helped me a lot, a lot uh, with this. Uh, so we kind of did, we used the same technology to build uh, the mobile app. Socket.io, it's in the middle because it's something a bit in between. I implemented to have real-time updates. So it creates a connection, a permanent connection between the back end and front end so that we on the front end can see immediately what takes place on the database. Whoa. Yeah. And for external APIs, I use Google Maps. That's crucial on my app because I need to know where to park my car, of course, and where the spots are. And I use Firebase to upload files such as, uh, well, not, not such as just I use Firebase to upload the pictures of the users that uh, sign, in on, uh, sign up to the application. Okay, I also did something else. That I, I did a bit of uh, proof of concept. Ed Julius told me it was a proof of concept. <laughs> I, I, I like the term and I thought I'm going to use it on the presentation. Uh, it's an IoT proof of concept. I, um, I have an Amazon IoT dash button. So Amazon now creates these sort of IoT buttons and what they do is that they connect to a Lambda function that executes a script that then can do whatever you want from calling APIs to interacting with your car or your garage door. They sell a lot of buttons to order, for instance, beer or diapers or whatever you can think of. Uh, but then they have these generic ones that you can configure to do whatever you want with them. I'll show you how it works. The biggest challenge was the Lambda functions from the UIT button. So this is a bit of a recent technology and there are not much documentation and there are not many forums explaining how, to, how it worked. So I was, actually I gave up uh, using the button but then I tried again and luckily I, I, I succeeded. It took me two days to, to be able to have this work. Uh, in terms of product management, I used Trello. Uh, a couple of things that I didn't, I didn't get to finish, one of them was uh, prevent taking or reserving a spot, a spot from more than 200 meters. So at the moment, you can take a spot even if you are like kilometers away, which doesn't make sense. But then again, I couldn't demonstrate if I, if I had this working because I could only take a spot right here. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I actually installed the app in my phone. So I'm going to try and mirror my phone with... Uh, with the screen. All right. Okay, this is my phone. Yeah, it's actually Dublin. It's a really nice place. Okay, this is my app, Park Social. I can log in using Facebook or I can have a um, register type of authentication. I'm not going to create an account, that would be too boring. But I'm going to use my Facebook account to log in. It's going to ask me for authorization. I'm going to say yes, of course. And what I get in on my first page is the available parking spots around me. Because it's a social network, you can see the people that actually, uh, whoa, that actually reported the spots. Um, so this one, the first I reported myself, and then Louise and JB and so forth. You can see the distance, it's uh, ordered by distance. You can see the streets, and if you click it, you can see more detail about it. Uh, you can see exactly what it is, uh, who reported it, what time. So let's say I want to take this parking spot. It fits me perfectly. I want to navigate to the spot. So I can use Google Maps, and it will let me know where the spot is. Um, so it will, like. And then let's say I got to the spot, and I want to take the spot. So I click take the spot. You've taken a spot, good stuff. Now if I go to my, now I have another menu which is my parking spot, where, where I have my spot. And I can see since when I've been parking here. 
Of course, if I go here to the Velo parking spots, it's no longer there because I took it. So I'm on now my parking spot menu. I can navigate to the spots. I keep forgetting where I park my car, so I can do it if I want. Or I can free my spot and goes back to the free spot list. So I'm freeing my spot. Um, I can go to settings and say I want to see just like parking spots in two kilometers. That should work. Let's put it back as it was. All right. Uh, I can report the parking spot, but I'm going to use another phone to do it because I want to show you something. Um, so thanks, Brad, for lending me your phone. I couldn't memorize the, the code. Though, like. So I'm going to log in as Julius on this phone, and I'm going to publish a spot right here where we are. Okay, I'm going to report parking spot, and I'm going to publish spot. I published and automatically updates. Okay, uh, just a couple of more features. I can select a notification. So let's, okay, I just, I, I said that I wanted to be notified when I have a parking spot here. So again, I'm going to use Brad's phone and I'm going to report, report the parking spot right there on that place. And I should get an email saying, look, you have a parking spot waiting for you. Yeah. So parking social notifications. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, which phone now is uh, <laughs> getting really confused. Yeah, there's a new parking at Carreras and Chadavilla, Barcelona, waiting for you. Uh, OK, last but not least. I want to show you how the IoT button works. Whoops. So the use case for this could be, so let's say you have a parking lot. And you, you want to you keep reporting parking spots, but you, wanna, you don't want to log in into the application every time you want to report the spot, right? But you know the parking lot is here. So you can just use a button uh, that I configured. And if I click it, if it works, hopefully it will work, uh, it will report the parking spot right here where we are. So I'm going to click it. And if it turns green, it should work. Please. <laughs> yeah. So I have <laughs> IoT. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you.